2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a little behind the scenes action. The team preparing for perhaps its biggest game of the season so far. Right here on 2K Sports. Breathtaking view of the New York City skyline is taken from the Empire State Building. We're coming to you live from Manhattan. It's game four of this Eastern Conference quarterfinal series. Down three zip. It's a survival contest, no doubt. Will the series end here tonight? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Julius Randle says of these Knicks, we're building something good here, and I'm glad to be a part of it. We have a collective purpose. There's not another fan base in the league that can match what these Knicks fans will give us if we're taking care of our business. Guys, those fans have waited for a long time. They have been patient for sure, David. Thank you. You look at the Knicks. This series has gotten completely away from them now. Greg, they haven't played well. They look frustrated. Uh, they're all over the place. They are, but they're also at home. And, and that's the one thing they can lean on to try and turn this thing around. I mean, it, it would be crazy to think that they could pull this off. But let's face it, Kev, they've got a long way to go. Right. Crazier things have happened, haven't they? And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Mobley is out there with Allen. Then it's Rain Man. Then it's Ricky Rubio. And it's Okoro in at the small forward position. And for the Knicks. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Fournier out there with Kemba Walker. And it's Noel in its center. And Randall throws it down. The very definition of an unselfish star. Kemba Walker doing work with the pass. Mobley the pass to Sullivan. And Rubio kicks no Carlo. Cats in the train. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. Can't allow Barrett that kind of positioning. He's just too skilled at finishing, even when you try to get physical with him. Here's Mobley. First shot, first pass. And Mobley is out of the blocks fast. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Sullivan, the pass to Allen. Pass to Mobley. Allen with it. Here's the three. And it's Noel with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Barrett. California. And it's sent back by Allen. This guy is a sensational shot blocker. Jared Allen twice on the pipes. Rubio left side. Here's a Coro. And the three off target. The Knicks have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Fournier best to Barrett. Rubio against Walker. Outside Fournier. Six to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Cleveland's gone, one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Rubio, the pass to Allen. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Shoots the three. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. Walker, the pass to Noel. Fournier on the wing. The kick out to Walker. 
to stop the drought. Knocks down the three ball. Kemba Walker is a cold-blooded competitor, and there is nothing he likes more than to answer one three with another. Now, here's Rubio. And a Coro with the basket on the assist by Rubio. Knicks trail by four. And here's Walker outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Pass to Sullivan. Three pointer. Another three for and Cleveland. Only. Oh, great ball movement there. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. And here's Walker. Going inside. Two points. That one goes. Walker's got five. Soft touch is a requirement of the floater game. Does Kemba Walker have it? You bet. On the pass to Okoro. And Mobley throws it down. Assist from an incredible Isaac reverse Okoro. throw down. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation done. Now, here's Walker. Five points in the game. Fournier finds Walker. Lots of room. Walker missing again. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. And Mobley throws it down. Well, Ricky Rubio has defined point guard vision. He can see the floor so beautifully. Here's Walker. Good D by Rubio. And Joe Allen will bring it up for Cleveland. Nine-point game. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've got. Pass to Noel. And a wide-open look for Walker. Drains it from beyond the arc. Walker's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Knicks. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Mobley with it. He's got nine. Acoro with it. Defended now by Fournier. Mobley the pass to Sullivan. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. Acoro's shot is off. New York's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Now here's Fournier. D right on him. Off target with the jump hook. Cleveland's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Mobley. Ahead. Throws it up high. Allen, that's good. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Now, here's Walker. Eight points for him. The layup missed. Here's a Coro. And that one comes up a bit short. Knicks trail by 12. Pass to Fournier. Stolen by a Coro. By himself. And a Coro throws it down. Coro and they have owned the paint so far and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And with their offense sputtering, coaches oh, got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. A different look for New York. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Nerland's Noel. Quickly comes in for Evan Fournier. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Kemba Walker. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Love's checked in for Allen. Markinen comes in for Okoro. Colin Sexton is checked in for Rain Man. And it's Garland in for Ricky Rubio. It's his first person. And it's the size and speed of Rose that makes him so tough to defend. He gets that stab. He's got no option but to foul. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Cavaliers. Got 
guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. And the Knicks making a change here. Hurts has checked in. Sexton kicks to Markinen. There's Garland. And the three ball is good. Garland crushing it three right points. now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going to And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. Here's Rose, and there's the drive. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Yeah, he's still showing flashes of that incredible athleticism. Rose is a force attacking the lane. And oh, here we go. Burke's got it. A fast break chance. Oh, that's what? That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain Remains possession. New York ball. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Randall outside. Jacks up a three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Well, you cannot sleep on Julius Randle. Catch and shoot jumper. Okay, Julius, we see you. Love the pass to Sexton. Parking in from outside. And another three for Cleveland. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. Rose looking around. Stolen by Markkinen. And here's the fast break. Here's Mobley. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Mobley's got 11. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Rose with the ball. Garland picks him up. And that one, good. Well, you love the attitude of Derrick Rose. You want to play great defense? No problem. I can still finish. Cleveland moving it around. Arkanen kicks to Sexton. Another three for Alan Cleveland. Sexton. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's quickly. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. This is it to Rose. And it's quickly in the corner. And again, New York with the triple. No one's ever questioned his court vision. Rose playing unselfish basketball, being the leader this team needs him to be. There's Garland. Another three for Cleveland. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Rose against Garland. Rose, good. Rose has got his third bucket of the night. And that's simply about feel, right? Derrick Rose in pick-and-roll situations has such a good feel for the right decision. Sexton, the pass to Markkinen. Outside for Sexton. Another three for uh, Cleveland. Sexton. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. There's the pass to Robinson. There's 138 left to play here in the first. Quickly with a wide open look. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Six points for him. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Mobley. 11 points in the game. Garland with the bucket. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Rose dishes to Randall. Outside Rose. Outside for Randall. And the Knicks hit again from deep. He is now three for four to start this game. Clearly the confidence is already building. Mobley at the elbow. Outside Markinen. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. 
Here's Rose. He's got eight. Driving to the basket. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Mobley. He can't get that one to fall. Now the Knicks take it the other way. They are still stinging from the loss on Thursday. Painful to watch, guys. You can see the frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. It's good. And that's 11 points for Colin Sexton. Well, speed is such an important weapon for Colin Sexton, and he gets to the mid-range game. Nice. Let's it go with a three. With the clock running down, sends it home! What a shot! You want drama? We've got drama. That's the way to end a quarter. That is a way to fire him up, fire up the team. What a tremendous play. And so it's Cleveland. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside. And Emmanuel quickly, like his name, picking things up quickly. And he's taking pointers, reaching out to all-star Damian Lillard. Really just giving me advice on, obviously, the point guard position, but what it takes to win in this league, what it takes to help your team win, how to bounce back from good games, bad games, staying even killed throughout the whole season. So, um, so it's really cool to get to talk to somebody on that high level. And you want to learn how to impact winning and not bad to have a resource like the great Damian Lillard. And yeah, Nick's assistant coach, Johnny Bryant, connecting those two. And absolutely, Lillard, a future Hall of Famer, unselfish with his knowledge. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? They just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Derrick Rose is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Burks at the three spot. That's the five for New York right now. Oh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Here's Rose. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Markinen kicks to Sexton. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the New York Knicks. Down by 12. Wasted no time on that one. Burks has got his first bucket of the night. Beautiful touch from Burks. He excels at knocking down these mid-range shots. Sexton finds Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Drills it from outside. Garland. Garland's got 12 in the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. It's been quite a game for Colin Sexton. Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the perimeter or keep the ball out of his hands as much as possible, period. That's about the only way you're going to cool this guy off. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Erlens Noel checks in for Julius Red. There it comes in for Brooks. Fournier's checked in for Quickly. And it's Kimba Walker in for Rose. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Outside, Walker. Has to bear it. Lock at six. Misses off the left iron. 
Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Well, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Sullivan, the pass to Rubio. No good from outside. Knicks trail by 12. Now Barrett, count it. Barrett's got five points now this quarter. Good concentration from the man out of Toronto, Ontario, R.J. Barrett. Go ahead with the contact finish. Spot way to play in attack no mode and out. get to the line. That's his first personal. The Cavaliers That's shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. For the away team. At the line. The first one falls. Good on both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Walker's shot is off. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Sullivan. Boom, he jams it straight down. Well, and he breaks out the tomahawk. No soft finish there. Pure power. Now we could feel that one all the way over here. Noel up top, defended by Allen. Here's Walker. The shot will not fall. Good D by Rubio. Allen with it. Defended now by Fournier. Arkanen kicks to a Coro. Rubio outside. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. Mitchell Robinson. That is his first That's foul his of the game. Person. Second team foul. Pass to Rubio. Three pointers off the mark. Knicks trail by 14. Here's Barrett. Here he goes. Oh, and the jam by Barrett. Boy, you love that he wants to finish with authority, sending a message to the defense. R.J. Barrett. Marking in passes to Rubio. Here's a Coro. That's in. Coming That's off an Coro. assist from Rubio. Rubio's got five assists tonight. Walker against Allen. And Walker kicks to Barrett. From downtown... They get it again. Noel. It's not going to go for him. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Here's Sullivan. And another three for Cleveland. Tom unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who right, don't man. pay attention to the score. Lock in on the moment and play the right way. New York calls timeout. One of the stories here, Isaac Okoro getting it done today. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Got a piece of it. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Rubio outside. Another three for Rubio. Cleveland. Yeah, great outside three shooting. Goal. Really fueling this run. Outside Fournier. Passes to Walker. To end the run. Trains the three-pointer. Walker's got 11 points. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. Here's Allen. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's his nice job personal. drawing the contact on that move. Jared Allen, very difficult to contain because of his length. Jared. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. And Allen drops them both. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. And here's Walker outside. And Okoro pulls it down. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Sullivan from beyond the arc Three and then some. Rain Man's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Cavs. Fournier with the ball and Allen picks him up defensively. Here's Noel and Noel throws it down. Well, this is where Noel is going to be difficult to guard in the pick and roll. Huge target 
get rolling to the rim. From and if you look at this Hoover. first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. Or near the bounce pass. Here's Walker. There's Noel. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Rain Man's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's good again in an excellent 7 for 8 shooting night so far. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Walker in the post, covered by Rubio. The shot's good from Fournier. Evan Fournier has been over and over. You better get a hand up and contest from three, or he will make you pay. Allen kicks to Rubio. Allen trying to break three. And Rubio gets it to go on the assist by Allen. Rubio's got six. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. And it's sent back by Allen. Cleveland controlling the game. Okoro dishes to Markinen, and Markinen throws it down. And how about the hops there by Markinen? He knows not many guys can block that shot. Good at getting that deep post position. Barrett the pass to Walker. Back to Barrett. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got three assists in the game. To the middle. Here's Markinen. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Seven points in the game. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And here's Walker outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Markinen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Six on the shot clock. Rubio the pass to Allen. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. No points there. Only his third miss in 10 attempts from the floor. New York's gone 4-7 on three-point shots in the second quarter. The pass to Fournier. Back to Barrett. Outside, Walker. This one for three. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has Ricky been Rubio. off the charts. I tell you, unwilling to settle for something on the perimeter, Rubio sticks his nose inside. That's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for New York. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. That one drops for him. Walker's got 13 points. And right now, I don't think he could hit a barn the way he shot this quarter. How about two of ten? So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. And two strategies mostly guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. So, New York going with almost an entire new group. Julius Randle's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Brooks comes in for Barrett. And you will quickly, he's checked in for Evan Fournier. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Walker. Rose dishes to Burks. Pass to Noel. Now Rose. Inside. Burks can't get it to go. The Cavalier shooting has been sensational. 75% for the game. Two minutes. Love the pass to Sullivan. Let's the three fly. And another three for Cleveland. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Rose against Garland. Rose, no good. Cleveland with the ball. Sullivan, the pass to Love. Here's Rain Man. Sexton for three. It falls for his seventh Colin bucket Sexton. of the contest. He's seven for nine. And guys, for Colin Sexton, it's really about taking smart shots because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. Pass to Randall. They need this. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Defensive foul. Is on Colin, Colin Sexton. Sexton. 
I'll tell you, that's that vertical personal. ability he first has team. puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Passes it to Mobley. Over Randall. Mobley misses. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Burks. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And here's Cleveland. They're on an 18-7 run. Outside Garland. And there's the pass to Mobley. Here's Rain Man. Burks covering. Yep, it counts. Rain Man's got 23. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Quickly with it. Garland picks him up. Quickly kicks to Burks. Back to Quickly. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Quickly's got 14 points for the game. Burks. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And another three for Cleveland. Wow, he has been unstoppable from outside in the second quarter. The threes are just flowing. Randall surveying the D. He kicks it to Burks. Pass to Rose. Now here's Randall. Let's it go from 11. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And so it's Cleveland going to the break, holding an enormous 36-point lead. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Tips. Going against a high-powered offense like this, I know you have your work cut out for you at the defensive end. Yeah, you know, they're tough to guard. They put a lot of pressure on you. You can't make body position mistakes. You've got to make sure we try to make them work for the points. We'll see if you can be more effective in the second half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And guys, for Cleveland, this game has been a continuation of the dominance they've shown throughout the series. They've got their brooms ready, and it doesn't look like anything's going to hold off the sweep. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, they built this lead in large part because of the sharpshooters off the bench. The subs played a superb game. Get it? Sub, superb, superb. <laughs> I mean, they played like starters. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? To be honest, them getting killed on the glasses like this is a little embarrassing. Showing no physicality or lack of heart. This is when fans start to feel let down. Me too. When your team doesn't seem to care as much as the other team. They don't care, I don't care, Ernie. I'm out of here. much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. It's been a clinic out there by Rain Man. You, you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Cavaliers. Mobley is out there with the quarrel. And there's Jared Allen. And it's Rain Man. And it's Rubio in a point. Walker the pass to Randall. And Randall throws it down. Pick and roll is Kemba Walker's game. He slices and dices as a scorer, or in this instance, as a passer. And it's Allen with the jam. That's from And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Here's Fournier, and it's what? The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Cleveland moving it around. 
Okoro passes to Mobley. The dish to Okoro. And it's off from three-point range. And Barrett has got the ball here for New York. Here's the drive. And Barrett switches it in. This guy can finish with either hand. What a finish from R.J. Barrett. Out to the wing. Pass to Sullivan. For three. Bangs home the trifecta. Rain Man's got 29 in the game. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Randall outside. Passes it to Noel. Three-pointer. And Walker gets it to go on the assist by Noel. Noel's got his third assist on the night. Sullivan, the pass to Allen. And stolen by Fournier. Randall kicks to Walker. Now, here's Barrett. Defense is right there. Out to the right wing. Sullivan, the pass to Rubio. From outside the arc, another three for Cleveland. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Fournier with the ball, and Allen picks him up defensively. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And here's Barrett. He's got 13. Here's Randall. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Sullivan, the pass to Okoro. Here's Rain Man. He's guarded by Fournier. Five on the clock. And the pass to Sullivan. Shoots over Fournier. And Cleveland again with the bucket. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Back to Walker. From deep three-point range. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got seven rebounds in the game. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better look here in this second half. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Randall dishes to Barrett. Outside, Walker. The three. Trills the three-pointer. Walker's got six points in the quarter. Well, the catch and shoot is Kemba's game, right? He can play in pick and roll, or he can play off a teammate. Mobley the pass to Allen. No good on the shot. The Knicks go the other way with it. Randall finds Walker. Lob pass to Barrett. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Pass to Allen. Here's Rain Man. Now here's Okoro. Barrett covering. Here's Sullivan. It's rebounded by New York. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Walker dishes to Randall. Back to Walker. That's tipped. Kicks to Randall. With the second effort, that falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got his fifth assist in this one. To the right side. Rubio outside. Sullivan the pass to Allen. Rubio outside. Pass to Mobley. Six to shoot. And they pick up two. Evan Mobley. Mobley's got 13. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Walker against Rubio. Walker the pass to Randall. 
Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. Here's Allen. And it's Noel with the rebound. New York's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. Well, Evan Fournier is a fundamentally sound player, and if his teammates are open, he will deliver the rock. Sullivan, the pass to Allen. Yep, that one goes in there. Allen. Allen's got four points this quarter. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Rubio misses. And Randall has got the ball here for the Knicks. Barrett with the ball. 13 points in the game. Randall left side. Rubio against Walker. Back to Randall. Let's it go from 11. When they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for the Knicks. Cleveland also making some changes. Lowry Marketing comes in for Mobley. And it's Sexton in for Rainman. Cavaliers have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Sexton finds Markinen from the arc. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist by Markinen. Three points. Sexton's got 23 points. This is a shot Colin Sexton has worked so hard to improve on. Can he be consistent from three point range? Outside, Walker from deep. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Markinen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Sexton, the pass to Allen, and it's Allen slamming it down. Well, that's an example of using both vision and playmaking ability to find the open teammate. Sexton is a quality floor general. Walker against Rubio. Walker, the pass to Randall. And again, New York turns it over. The ball goes to the away team. So for the Knicks, Burks, he's checked in for R.J. Barrett. Quickly comes in for Evan Fournier. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Walker. Kevin Love's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland comes in for Ricky Rubio. Love kicks to a Okoro. Here's Garland. Good on the triple. Darius Garland. Garland's got 15. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Here's quickly. And again, unable to change momentum here. Love dishes to Garland. Next and the call will be against Julius, Julius Randle. That's, that's his, his first, first foul. Personal. First team foul. Markin and fine Sexton. Cleveland moving it around. Left side, Love. Markin and trying to break loose. Basket, good. Love's got his second bucket tonight. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home. Another to do it in a hostile environment. Boy, just sheer dominance. The ability to step into enemy territory and flat out take over. This is impressive. From Derrick Rose. Now Cleveland shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. And Sexton Colin slams Sexton. it in. Okay, the initiative from the young bull, Colin Sexton, as some like to call him. How about that drive? Up top, Burks. And it's quickly in the corner. Baseline try. Good as the jump shot falls. 18 points for him. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Back to Love. Looking for Garland. He gets it there. That ball is by Love. From 17 points for Darius Garland. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Rose passes to Burks. Outside, Robinson. To the paint. 
And it's quickly missing. And here are the Cavaliers. Down low. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And what I love about Mr. Love is that he's become an absolute workhorse. A guy who accepts his role and gives everything to that role on a nightly basis. Absolutely love the adjustments he's made over the course of his career. Both free throws good from Kevin Love. New York's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Nine feet out. Trying to get open is Robinson. He gets it in there. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. For three, Love connects from three-point range. Three point Love's goal. got nine. And Kevin Love knows his role so well. This guy is always looking to find space and spread the court with his ability to knock down shots. Hands it from downtown. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Here's Love, and misses it off the right side of the rim. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the New York Knicks. Here's Robinson. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Markinen's got his sixth rebound on the night. Akaro kicks to Markinen. And that one, good. He's got nine. And Markinen continuing to improve inside. I mean, utilizing his height, the D has a tough time matching up with somebody with his skill set. Takes it from 10. It's good. Yeah. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Sexton. And Sexton slams it in. Well, just a little bit of momentum and Sexton going right to the rim. New York's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Rose finds quickly. Shot clock at six. And the rejection by Love. Well, Kevin Love, such a smart defender. Send it back. Obi Toppin checked in for Julius Randle. Obi Toppin. There's 31 seconds left in the third. Just two to shoot. Burks. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Love kicks to Garland. Passes it to Sexton. The shot. And it's good off the back rim and in. And that's now 21 points for Isaac Okoro. Quickly against Sexton. And he makes that one. Just the late reaction there from the defense. And he is always going to finish that one. To the inside. Here's Markinen. That's good. And it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got assist number eight now on the night. And so it's Cleveland with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching him today. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. We've got Knox. Taj Gibson is out there with Toppin. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's Vildoza in at the point guard position. That's the five for New York right now. Burks' shot is good. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Garland kicks to Sexton. Back to Garland. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Outside, Markinen. A three ball. 
Mildoza with the rebound. New York shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. Back to Knox. From deep. They get it back. A three. And he's good on the three ball. Knox has got himself on the board with three there. Well, this is what we expect. The rise and fire from Kevin Knox in a catch-and-shoot situation. You better guard him now. Garland, no good. New York's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. From past the arc. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Cleveland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. The pass to fall. Over to the wing. Over Gibson. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. And the foul on Alec Brooks. That's his first foul. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Wayne. For the Cavaliers, Check Wade, Austin. he's checked in for love. Osman comes in for Markinen. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Sexton. Wade passes to fall. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. The assist. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by the Knicks. Pass to Knox. Here now, Bildoza. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. The ball goes to the away team. Cavaliers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Here's Rondo. Misses the three. New York's gone three of four from downtown here in the fourth. So the wing on the left. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Knox. That one wide left. The Cavaliers shooting has been just uncontainable. 72%. Rondo finds Garland. Wow, Next came stop. this close to a four-point play. Well, head to the line for three free throws. Second team foul. Well, give Darius Garland credit for shooting looking for to score. He forces the Darius defense Garland. into action. At the line, he'll shoot three. And he's good on the first of three. And the second free throw, good. Well, we know that injury ended Darius Garland's college career right at its infancy. But this guy smartly used his recovery time to focus on getting ready for the NBA. And boy, he's proven he can be a gifted player. That one's not going to go. And Cleveland the other way now. Has to fall. Toppin pulls it in. The Knicks have gone 4-7 for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Here's Knox. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. Launches it. Hits it from three-point range. Garland. Garland's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now two more since the break. Here's Burks. Trying to get open is Gibson. Burks can't get it to go. And here are the Cavaliers. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Here's Garland. Here's Fall. And finally they hit one. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. A three-pointer is right on target. Burks has got 11 in the second half. Garland kicks to Rondo. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Well, just quick with the decision-making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. Here now, Vildoza. There's the triple. And it's Osman with the rebound. 
Cleveland's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And it goes down two points. Wade's got his first basket of the night. Yeah, and Rondo just working the ball around there. He loves finding his teammates when they're open in the sweet spots. Kicks it to Burks. Passes to Knox. Shot clock at five. Tries from ten. And the basket by Bill Doza. Bill Doza's got his first basket. I like to see Kevin Knox share the basketball because what it shows is an improving awareness in finding his teammates. That's how people want to play with you. Here now, Bill Doza. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his wow, personal. wow. He got waxed on foul. that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. At the line and guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown the so far for Cleveland. Two shots. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. You know, something else we've seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to drop. Big points coming from three-point range right now. Rain Man's checked in for Garland. Sullivan, the pass to Wade. Here's Rondo. Buries the long-range jumper. Rondo. Rondo's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, and every now and then, Rondo will surprise you with the occasional triple. Showing it off there with range. Burks dishes to Gibson. The pass to Vildoza. Now here's Gibson. He's covered closely. Here's Knox. They get it back. Here's Vildoza. A shot off that time. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. It's blocked. Burks looking around. Here now, Vildoza. For the three. Alec Burks, and that's good. After an ice cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Right wing. Here's Rondo, and the jumper is good. And while that jump shot has been a, a work in progress throughout his career, Rondo every now and then can get hot. Here now, Vildoza. Pass to Knox. Dishes it to Burks. And he makes good on the lane. Burks has got 16 points here in the second half. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Rondo. And another three for Cleveland. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. Here's Burks. And it's blocked. And he recovers it. Takes the three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And they've shown a little extra hustle on the offensive glass here in the second half. Second chance points are starting to add up for them. And they can use every one of them. Rondo's shot is good. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now, here's Burks. Tight defense on him. But Trey gets the three-point of the fall. Knox has got nine points in the quarter. This guy has excellent shot mechanics. Kevin Knox from three, no problem. And it's Wade slamming it down. Here he comes, and there he goes. Ugh, look at him punish that rim. Here now, Vildoza. Pass to Knox. Here now, Vildoza. Burks, the pass to Vildoza. Lock at six. Overweight. The Cavaliers pull it in. Cleveland moving it around. Rondo passes to Wade. Pulls up. 
And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Dean Wayne. 33 points for Rain Man. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Left side, Gibson. Pass to Vildoza. Inside, Burks. Throws up again. And no good. And Cleveland the other way now. Sullivan, the pass to Osman. Here's Fall, defended by Gibson. Here's Osman. Let's it go from deep. And another three for three Cleveland. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Burks' shot is good. Now it works to get hot quickly, and when he's getting to his spots, look out. The pass to Sullivan. Here's Osman. From deep three-point range, Bill Doza with the rebound. Bill Doza's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's 138 left to play in the final quarter. Pass to Burks. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, and guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for Cleveland. The bench gave him a big lift in this game. And listen, Kevin, anytime your reserves can perform at a level that high, it puts you in an excellent position to win the game. And tonight's win really a reflection of how dominant they have been all series long. The four-game sweep. Yeah, and I don't think they expected to pull off such a decisive win, but they had the momentum all series long. Time now, they get to move on. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was. For Rain Man. What a relentless scoring night for this guy. In attack mode all evening. He's done a dynamite job rebounding the basketball and no issues fighting it out against the big guys down low. Outside Rondo, pass to Sullivan. Back to Ronda. Passes it to Osman. Here's Fall. Outside Rondo. Launches a three. Burks pulls it in. To the paint. And it's Gibson finishing it off. Well, you combine size, aggression, and toughness, and you get Taj Gibson. My goodness, nicely done. Here's Rain Man. And they're going to move on to the conference semifinals. What a performance through the entire first round. Greg sweeping in four games. And they really had a tremendous series. Watching how well these guys played as a unit has got to be scary for their round two matchup. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Kevin, congrats on the win. Are you guys gaining confidence, and what are you figuring out? Uh, just that we need to continue continuity. We really need to pick it up on the defensive end. Offense, we can get whatever we want really at any time, but the defense is where we're going to need to get better. That is somewhere where you have to tighten up, Kevin. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long.